so we have uh, we are already done we are already done with the important questions of 3d geometry see now next very important chapter and a simple chapter is binomial theorem which you can't miss so we will discuss the type of question see i would have already told you in my previous videos also that this is one result the question based on general term of the expansion extremely 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 important in this chapter and if you get a question which is most likely you are going to get you should be lucky in that case okay so the, the type of question can be see these are just the type of question like the constant term the term independent of x or maybe to make it a bit more complex they may put some sign cos theta and they may ask you the largest value of that term the which is independent of x extremely important result again i will definitely bring a detailed video on the type of question that can be framed based on like general term in binomial theorem but uh, uh, other things are like here the number of irrational terms the sum of integral terms the sum of number of irrational rational terms irrational terms in the expansion again an important point and then of course to find the remainder i just mentioned two example here so you should be able to solve such type of questions using binomial expansion okay so that's again an important aspect next is question based on these properties okay Be properties of binomial coefficient extremely important this one this one and of course as few may think that they have removed the uh, like uh, series of binomial coefficient but it has nothing to do with any special method you can just derive it in um, using the standard expansion 1 plus x is 2 r and putting x is equal to 1 so that is important for me it's really very important for this um, j, uh, j means and then like see these are the examples which we will uh, as i said we will be bringing a detailed video on the type of questions and its solution quick solution okay so that you have have an idea the exact type of question and how to approach it but for the time being you should know the type of questions which are important if you come across any such question attempt it solve it go to previous year questions uh, check out for these questions such type of question and do solve it okay so these are few questions maybe based on your uh, what uh, the uh, coefficients and the properties of the normal coefficient and then again this is again very important though this is multinomial again few may say that not required but then it does we doesn't use anything related to multinomial we just use that this uh, that this is an identity statement which is true for all x it's an identity statement which is true for all x and then we get these values of a not a1 and sum of all the coefficients again extremely important Achha, for this at least i will say whatever variable here is put that one you will get it whatever variable here is put x is equal to zero so I, as i'm saying i will be bringing a detailed video definitely before your day means but for the time being so these are the important type of questions which you may come across in the chapter binomial theorem but